so good morning today we are going to learn accepting input from the user in applet uh using parameters we have seen yesterday today we will see using a uh, graphical components clear or window components so actually in your next semester you have all these each one of these components uh, for your syllabus what you will be learning in the next semester is pay attention here in the next semester you have detailed study of each of this component as i told you yesterday each of this component belong to a special class in which the behavior and properties of these components are defined are you able to understand each of this component for example label button text field there are classes predefined by name text field by name label by name button and then each of this class defines properties of each of those components methods of each of these components constructor for each of this component creation constructor means what the way you create object of these components because if you want to create that component here it is called as uh, hard code hard code in the sense you will not be dragging anything and automatically the code will be generated is here are you able to understand what i am talking yeah. 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 hard code in the sense here you are going to type and then through that typing you are going to generate the output although java is advanced already you have advanced options by which the moment you drag the code will get automatically generated then you may say why are we learning hard coding then why are we learning all this because until unless you have a knowledge of all this you will not be able to understand if there is any problem clear yeah anyway so here you are going to learn line by line how to create the moment to create object of text field automatically the text field will appear in the app clear as you have seen yesterday uh, you gave width and length of applet and automatically applet was minimized or maximized something like that clear yeah so now remember in the next semester you have detailed study of each of these component they are constructor they are methods etc today i mean now in this semester i can't teach you in detail but unfortunately or in contradiction to your syllabus you have journal program which requires knowledge of all this so i'm going to just brief you up with whatever is required i know actually you need detail understanding of all these components that would be easier but now i can't help right we have to make i have to make you understand within the time and you people will be grasping whatever is required clear so let us start learning the components please ask doubts if you don't understand don't think that others are not asking the doubt so they have understood and if i expose my ignorance i'll be insulted don't feel like that clear yeah so your own doubts you have to ask now remember uh, for understanding or for your journal program let us concentrate only on the journal program now and whatever is required we will learn for your journal program what is the statement of journal program it tells us to accept students marks in some five subjects then it uh, you are supposed to calculate total average and uh, i don't remember exactly whether you are supposed to calculate grade or no but whatever and then you have to display now remember there are many text field components as i told you yesterday to accept a uh, gender you have option buttons you have check buttons right uh, then you have drop down list etc all those in detail you are going to learn in advanced java clear now but for your general program minimum now we have to understand what components are required you have to accept students actually only marks 
but just to make it real time look like your real time we will accept even the registration number and name of the student clear so you need label to display the messages like enter your number or enter your name enter marks in five subjects like that so which component you need to know label second which component you need to know text field what is text field it's a rectangle in which the cursor will blink it will accept the user input clear yeah third component you require because you are supposed to calculate marks the moment user will enter you will click on the button called as calculate the moment you click on the button the output there will be some text field for displaying the output also in that output text field the moment you click on a button the details will appear so clicking on a button button is required so basically you require three components which are label text field button so we will learn only these three components clear with that yeah so let us um, go through the program so what i have done is actual calculation the moment you click calculation happens before you click there is some interface which is gets displayed in front of you which asks for your name then your registration number and marks and then it provides you a space to enter those details so i have divided the program into two parts right now designing then calculation so first i will brief you only with the design clear yeah design uh, yeah of all these components remember again all these each one of this component belongs to awt package which package it belongs to awt remember it is not that only applets can have window components your java applications also could be written uh, using this window components but unfortunately that was not there in your syllabus you could use frames frames are similar to the applets they look like they are a rectangular area wherein you can dump uh, graphical components clear anyway next semester directly you will be learning that without that in, uh, getting included in the syllabus directly you will have to those who are interested can learn it in vacation master your awt package yourself clear yeah now uh, for your label you have a class called as label okay let me take a blank uh, document and then so creating label you have this is a mistake what student do table and label because they are similar so t a b l e table l a b l e label and this is where students go wrong even in the exam because in exam all your those subtle confusions will come out fine including this so l a b e l label clear l upper case because it's a class name the constructor of the label is like this in short i'm telling label and then whatever name you want to give normally we give l1 l2 because convention labels l1 is equal to new label and in bracket it requires one string parameter to be passed because labels are hardly blank you can create blank label also there are overloaded constructor what do you mean by overloaded constructor many forms of the constructors are there that means you can create a blank label you can create a label with string you can even create a label with image already you might see here can you see this label with this is a button actually there could be labels with images also fine instead of anything written nowadays people understand images or those now facebook ke liye you need not write facebook just f is sufficient right for mobile only that symbol is written so similarly labels can be created even with images no need of passing string parameter all this you will learn in next semester right now you can write 
label along with a string parameter that string specifies the text which is displayed on a label clear you are creating label with the string what has to be displayed so now i'll say enter name so this is how we create label now if we divide this again into two parts of declaration and initialization why do we do that in remember in try block we had done declaration not try uh, here sorry in copy byte program file stream objects we declare and then we initialize somewhere you remember why because they should be globally declared and then initialization should happen inside the try block you remember similarly here also that requirement is there so we normally in your applet program we are going to do like this this is just a declaration first line what is this declaration now initialization how do you sorry how do you initialize the declared value already this is auto correct in word automatically it will get clear so this is how you are going to do in your journal program declare and this is initialization clear fine understood yeah three things you have to do with each component declare initialize place them it is something you are preparing small small components then you have to place them it's like a card sheet on which you are designing something but all those are like you know uh, you are making those small uh, uh, things maybe and then you are pasting it so declare design declare means maybe you will create then paint paint is something initialization and then you place it so third thing you will do is add to add you will be using a method called as add add is a method which is available with every component clear fine yeah understood this these three things you will do with each of the component clear so all of you just write getting user input you have written right yeah. to create label to create label write these three things <coughs> just a minute huh? is it visible that one and l don't get confused they look similar with the pencil again you can write what is label here class class name label is a class name clear and the center name is a message that will be displayed on the label clear 
so this is about creating label similarly creating text field look at the case and spelling what do you mean by 15 there size of the text field it will accommodate 15 characters what is remaining now sorry button done finished everyone let us look at a program 
first we are going to see only designing so right design an applet to accept two numbers and display the sum using label text field and button so previous program whatever we have written we have written adding uh, addition of two numbers but we directly initialize and in second program we pass parameters you remember both the programs now this is the third version just a minute i'll stop share and then i will try this zoom somehow it is not getting operated now here we have applet which add two number but i am just going to show you design right now fine so whatever other complications are there i am going to remove from it but you have to learn it later all this so here we have a design pay attention which two uh, packages we have imported applet and awt this is you people are used to this now last time i think some of the students had kept this same for all the programs it should be same as your class name now see here we, uh, that initialization and declaration we have split into two parts why because initialization we are going to do it inside ini and declaration we are going to do outside that why you may say why because whatever calculation part is there na no? addition of two numbers adding adding and then displaying on the screen that we will do somewhere else in another method ini it will not do that ini it may only initialization now if we declare all those components inside ini it they will have local scope then in the calculation part those variables or those objects will not be recognized are you getting so i have to declare them globally so that they are available even to the init even outside in it so i am declaring them globally here can you see before init starts i have declared them so that they are available even to the init and even to the other methods inside the class clear with that yeah so class name is normal we are extending applet clear then we have declared how many text fields three why because two to read two numbers don't say in one box only will read all will not be able to separate them then fine they read two numbers two boxes to display the addition another blank box so three text fields clear so our design is going to be something like this let me show you with this is our applet inside that okay sorry maybe i'm taking too long so it's better i'll go ahead but some some what like this clear so 
something like this we are going to have boxes one below the other and here will be our messages so something like this i'll be typing enter number clear something exactly in front of that will be writing clear <coughs> and somewhere here down we will have a button so that after you enter you click on the button and then the output is displayed here clear first you have to visualize how is going to be your design fine yeah so this is the applet we are going to prepare so we require three text fields three labels so how many labels we have taken three how many buttons we require actually if you go to see real time you may require two also one is to calculate and second is to exit clear but that will do in the later part for your lab program i have reduced clear fine so one button declaration is over see the initialization how the text fields have to be initialized with the size so we have given the equal size how the labels are initialized with the message so either it could be enter number 1 or enter first number enter second number whatever right now i kept it as num1 num2 and final sum because that is going to be for displaying sum clear with this pay attention when i am explaining clear yeah now before i create a button i am adding so sequence doesn't matter here clear only thing first there has to be declaration initialization and then add but which one you will be adding first uh, or whether you are declaring uh, initializing button for that is up to you okay if you want better we declare it here or we initialize it here fine no problem so button we have initialized with the message now we have to add them for adding there is one uh, this one you know uh, for adding again i don't want to complicate you but in java again to add there are different layouts you know layouts are the arrangement of components on the applet interface clear again there these layouts are of eight types flow layout grid layout box layout grid bag layout there are so many layouts but if i tell you people again it is going to be a cocktail confusion so let us skip that now how i am going to add is by default there is one layout called as flow layout what do you mean by flow layout it is something like uh, in very small maybe not in play group now what is of course everything is sophisticated even in play group you have chairs to sit when we went to nursery in fact even in my primary school we used to sit down there were no benches so in our nursery there was one carpet and as and when students come they used to come and sit there in the line so it depends on how many students sit in one line they used to go on sitting once one line is over they go on sitting why i am giving this example flow layout is like that go on adding component the way the sequence in which you add will go on making the component sit there in the layer applet if you make the applet larger size more components will fit in one line if you reduce the width of the applet components will flow down how much it is something like as you go on typing in document if you reduce the length of the document the lines come words come on the next line clear so this is the flow layout so in your applet execution don't say mera yahan pe hona chahiye enter number and then text box but enter second number is coming there and box is coming down it may happen why because we are using flow layout i can solve this problem by using grid layout grid in the sense like how you people are sitting now defined benches five benches only can anybody say am i beech mein baithunga there is no bench you have to put a bench then that grid layout will be disturbed grid layout is defined number of rows and columns but for that again two three lines you have to add more in the program and people will forget in exam today only i saw many faces confused so those two three lines to skip i am using flow layout for which you don't have to define any layout it will be by default existing clear fine 
but only in flow layout you have to take care of the sequence the way you add it will appear so how you want to add pehle aapko kya chahiye label then you want a text field then again label text field label text field then button those students who want like this first number second number beech mein button chahiye then you want output then where will you add the button after the second text field you may say add b1 clear see how i am adding here first label text field second label second text field actually they are different lines but why i have typed them in one line so that you understand a pair text field label text field label text sorry label text field label text field clear understood this yeah then i have added button down at the end fine so clear with this this is my applet design my init is over here and then my class is close getting closed here init is inside the class clear take down quickly anything is fine java and class both are <coughs> better you uh, create the design i mean small miniature of the diagram you draw beside proper how it will look num1 here then this then num2 and box and then some and again a text field and down you will have calculate clear better i'll show with annotation why i didn't go for annotation because i will have to delete it na later i wanted to preserve it should i scroll
finish text field initialization everyone done with this remember the moment it is covered try executing yourself clear how to execute applet how many of you tried applet execution today not today yesterday at least one applet you could yeah so th this also you try i don't know how it works on edit editors those who don't have pc but at least otherwise it will work fine yeah uh homework for you tomorrow do we have class yeah wait uh. so we'll shall stop this recording